I just don't know how to film an intro because I'm not a YouTuber, so I don't even know how to get into this, but today is going to be a room tour. Like, I'm just gonna like go through my entire room and show you everything, mostly because I'm proud of it, because it's like insanely clean right now. Um, this whole quarantine thing has got pretty much like, I just a bunch of time on our hands to just clean the room, but since I'm always a clean freak, my part of the room is always clean, but since when you share a room and then the other one's not clean at all, you just force her to clean during this whole break and then the room is actually how like I want it to be so it is time for me to just film this and capture it because it is a rare moment when my room looks like this and I love it so I'm gonna go through like a detailed basically everything so you can not only understand about how much of a freak I am about cleaning but just kind of go through and what's really like to share a room and Every time my friends do come in room, they're like, this is so trendy, this is so artsy, so visco. So, you see for yourself. Um, that's not the biggest room, it's just an average sized room, it's a really tiny closet, but you'll just see basically what it's like to immerse yourself into the culture of being a Meyer twin. So, uh, let's get into it. So first when you walk into our room, there's a door. I mean, it's a normal door. It's an ugly brown color. It doesn't really match like the white trimming in our room, but that's okay. But first when you walk into our room, I guess you notice that our room is two different colors. It's like a light gray and then it, we have the white trimming and then it's a chalkboard wall up top. And we have like these pegs that dot our entire room, which is really nice for not only hanging up all these Christmas lights, but for like just like storing stuff and like hanging stuff up as you can see like over here. Um, then up top you'll notice like our chalkboard wall as I mentioned earlier every like wall is has a new theme so this is our music wall it's just listed with a lot of our me and Melanie's favorite music artists because we're really into music um, this is a snippet it's like a voice memo of um, a section from the song by Lainey then over here we got moon phases it's a little dirty over there and then we just have it says Natalie and Melanie's room this is like the little colorful part of it and then we have some like nice flowers and then like a mountain and a wave and like the world, which is really cute. So then going over to the first section of our room, this is kind of like, this is the bookcase. It used to all be filled with books, but now this is just Melanie's makeup. Yes, it is a lot of makeup, but basically this is all of her makeup. Hello me. Um, so this is where she does her makeup. I do mine in uh, like the bathroom. But so like since we can't be both be in there at the same time, this is where she does hers. You can see the carpet is nicely stained with just years of makeup buildup. But then first, not first, but up above we have our record player. This is just the average basic hipster record player. Um, it's nice because it's Bluetooth, which I usually play, like connect my phone to sometimes. And then we just have all of our vinyls. Um, we collect them. I don't, well, everyone collects them, but it's just some of our favorite artists and then behind we went to Goodwill and Melanie got some like just like old vinyls I don't even know what this is this is like the Partridge family I don't know this is really old but um we hung them up and it just gives a nice little aesthetic visco vibe which fits in with the whole record player and then going over here we have our desk area um we have a fuzzy chair white chair that fits in with the fuzzy pillows on our bed and then this is our desk. It was like a hand-me-down desk. Um, yeah, that's just my Chromebook. And then so over here we have our desk and then underneath is just a little trash can with my backpack that is just not being used. And then over here we just have, this is where I keep like my hair ties and stuff. And then here is just little tiny things and then just little cute things. These are my color pens, these are my neutral pens. And then this is just some post-it notes with the lamp. And then I plug in, this, so these have the Christmas lights obviously, but every single night I unplug this and I plug in and this is where I charge my Apple Watch and my phone because I don't like to sleep with my phone next to me. Um, this right here, it used to be in our closet. It's just a, it, it's like a tiny bookcase, but behind here we have a bunch of like boots and shoes that I have like my planner. These are mirrors that you just like look at yourself. And of course, that's what a mirror does. And then this is just like an art kit that we got for Christmas. It just has a bunch of paints and stuff whenever you're feeling creative. Um, over here is my ukulele. Shout out to Grace Wagner for giving me this ukulele. Um, I like painted it like last year. So that's cute, but it's like the cheap, like $25 ukulele, but I love it to death. 
And then this is actually one of my favorite things. It's where I hang up all my earrings because it really helps you like visualize like if you don't know what earrings were instead of them all being like jumbled up somewhere. I just lay them out like this and I just take them because it really, you can really tell with your outfit. Then I just have a pair of, a few pair of hoop earrings up top and then just some other random things in memory things. So yeah, that is that section of the room. Now I guess we'll do the whole bed section. Um, we recently changed our comforters to be like this gingham print just because I felt like it was a more neutral tone and fit better with the span of our room and so I if you did not know am the pink person and Melanie is the purple so she has like purple flannel sheets hi yes it's uh, editing Natalie back and um I was just wondering did anyone else see when I took off the comforter and then there's just a pair of sunglasses just chilling next to Melanie's pillow are we supposed to act like that's something normal most likely is normal considering my life but just wondering that's all and then I have light pink ones Overall, I think the light pink aesthetic fits better with the whole realm of the room. But yeah, so this is my bed. Um, it's just flannel sheets just because that's a lot more comfier to sleep on. I have like a memory foam mattress because I'm an insomniac. Speaking of insomniac, I also have like my weighted blanket because it helps me sleep. Um, this gingham print, I think it's like a, from Target, but it took a lot of like research online to find a twin size gingham print comforter. But yeah, then I just have some few pillows and then some pillows and then stuffed animals. If you didn't know, we're very obsessed with stuffed animals, so that's it. But this is one of like my favorite things in my room. It's like my bedside table for my bunk bed, as you can see. Oh, first off, I just don't have a ladder or like a barrier thing just cause it's unnecessary. But this is supposed to be like a phone holder. It's from like Pottery Barn, but um, I just keep my AirPods and like my retainer in there. This is a little mug that I hold my pens in. And then this is my glasses case because if we look behind here, this is a little secret, I keep my journal behind my bed. So this is my journal for 2020 this year and um, so I keep my pens right there and I write in it right before I go to sleep and then tuck it behind there. I also have like whatever book I'm currently reading behind there too. So going down to Melanie's bed, as you can see, a ton of stuffed animals but this isn't even half of it and then she has another weighted blanket and then just rare moment of her bed actually being made and then underneath we just have storage of stuff it doesn't look the best but when you own as many clothes and stuffed animals as we do storage is limited um here's our bedside table it's like gross from like water like spilling on it because fun fact i always like keep a water for here sometimes i like, kick it off in my sleep and it like falls on melanie's head quite entertaining but this is an alarm clock, but it's just never used as an alarm clock, saying that time is just not accurate. It mostly just plugs, like, phones in the backs and, like, Apple Watch. Um, this is, like, a lamp. I don't know why I have to say it's a lamp. And then here we have storage of just random stuff like sewing kit and extra cords. And then just stuff I'm, like, giving away. And then, yeah. It's a bedside table, man. I don't know what to sell you. And then over here we have my jewelry, our, my, our jewelry box that holds jewelry, but like mostly just little tiny knickknack things. This is like all dance jewelry. Um, this is like tiny necklaces and then the just to like the candles. This is like a Natalie candle compared to a Melanie candle. Uh, we mostly just switch off every day, but they're actually like both on that last limb. Um, this is a scrunchie holder and you can tell that we shattered this and had to like awkwardly super glue it together. Um, and then this is holding extra Polaroids that don't belong on our big Polaroid wall. We've um, had Polaroids since, I want to say Christmas of like 2015. So it's been a decent amount of years with Polaroids and I kind of just switch them out like if like one gets really old. But these are just a few mems. Um, yeah, I love this. And it, we originally had the Polaroids all up here, but then we like changed it to down here and I like this one better and it goes all the way down to like the bottom. and. I, I, I think it's really cute just because it shows like funny pictures and then memories of just places I've been and I just I like taking more photos and then adding them to the wall and it's really cute to just capture those moments oh my god how sentimental and cute um here is just some senior sashes from palms this year and then we have two windows it kind of stinks that this window is kind of covered with the bed but I mean that's just what you have to deal with so if you look down, you can actually see a rug um, because we do have carpeted floors, which 
it's not the most ideal, but I mean, it will do. But it's, we only have this rug, fun fact, is because me and Melanie are such messes, there's just a bunch of stains all over the carpet, and then the rug acts as a little, like, mask to cover that all, so I love that. Um, over here we have our dressers. This is my dresser, and that is Melanie's dresser, and there's the door too. Um, so this dresser, this is mine. It's always clean. It always basically looks like this. I don't want to like toot my own horn. Hello. But Melanie's is always a mess. And then mine is always clean because I'm a clean freak. Um, up here I have some, uh, like on the pegs, this is just my wallet thing. And then these are my most used scrunchies. And then this is a hat with a bunch of scrunchies behind it. Not the ones that I mostly use. Why do we own so many scrunchies? I don't really know. And then hello to myself. But, so this is like a mere shelf thing from Pottery Barn. A lot of this, a lot of this stuff is from Pottery Barn. These is, these. This is me and Melanie's like jewelry holder thing. We each have one on our dresser. Um, they just like hold tiny things. These are my most used necklaces. Like my Pandora rings up here and then bracelets. And then my Polaroid, some of my perfumes. And then like a sign like I painted, a little Star Wars thing, Spider-Man thing, and then like Ray-Bans or whatever. So that is that. I am kind of insanely proud of my drawers just because they're really clean right now and organized. I'm kind of a freak about all of that, but I don't really care. So you can see that I really utilize the Marie Kondo method and it does it bring joy and I like respect my clothing and all that. So. so starting from the top down, this is the first drawer. This holds like sports bras and then underwear and then this is all fuzzy socks. And then like literally like 30% of my socks are all superhero socks, so love that. Um, so then I, and I, you can see here I have little cardboard dividers to keep everything from not sliding around because that's how freaky and OCD I am. Next we have my pajama drawer. This is pajama pants, pajama tops, and then this is like a sweatshirt combined with like other like sports bras and not really like used other stuff. Here is my like shirt drawer. These are all t-shirts, like actual t-shirts. These are like long sleeve t-shirts. This row is all my Lululemon like shirts that I roll up into tiny little cute burritos. I love that. And then these are all Lululemon sports bras and then Lululemon leggings that I would wear. Not just Lululemon, but like athletic leggings. And then here's my pants drawer. This is like the most messy. It goes just like jeans and then like unused sweatpants, skirts, some like other leggings and then more jeans. And then the last one is my t-shirt drawer that's all folded into these little burrito things. Um, as you can see, I own a lot of red t-shirts and then white, and then here's colorful. These are tank tops back here, and then this back corner is my running shorts. Moving over to another decorative part of the room, we have a little letter board that has some 1975 lyrics because we're so hipster. And then it's our Google, yeah. And then another lamp. And then like a Polaroid that like kind of works, but doesn't really work. And it's mostly just used for decoration. And then um, a book, this is like the Lynn Monroe Miranda one my mom got for me like two Christmases ago. But um, it just kind of aesthetically fits the room with like the black and gold theme. Back here is a cork board that I made this, but I mean, it's just both, both for me and Melanie. Just has a bunch of things like state qualifying, some like palms things, some just motivational quotes. I don't know. I made that like a long time ago, but it's cute. And then, oh, we got a cute little photo up there. So this pink square holds like mini like purses, not purses, but like makeup traveling things. If you're ever like traveling anywhere. Um, this one is all hats. This one is my Natalie junk bin. It just has a bunch of like things like my journal from last year. And then just, it's an organized mess, I guess. And then over here is like tiny little tank tops and then shorts and like clothes I need to sew or like return. So that's what we put in there. Um, in the bottom, we have just some other books and knickknack things. Like that's like a coin jar and like a Hamilton book. And then we have some boots over here that couldn't really fit into our closet. Over here we have Melanie's mess. This is our, this is her laundry basket. I also forgot to mention that this holds sweatshirts. These are like the sweatshirts that I wear. I like go, between like five I wear like religiously so those are the ones right now and then this just holds like other Natalie books over here is Melanie's dresser this just has a bunch of things up top like facial sprays lip balms tiny little things tiny little things her jewelry stuff I don't know bin of I guess it's a junk Melanie bin a backpack and then these are all like Melanie Sherpas and then this entire thing is filled with Melanie sweatshirts 
Um, and then this is Melanie's laundry bin. So that is the whole room. And then all I have to show you left is the closet. And now you should be really excited about the closet because it is quite something. Oh, I never showed you the mirror that is on our closet. This is probably from Pottery Barn. I mean, where else would we get things at this point? Um, that just has like chalk for the chalkboard wall and then some like a lot of lint rollers because when you own a white dog, lint rollers become your everyday need, I don't know. And um, then that's just random stuff like Melanie's contact. But then here is the closet, my actual child. So when I turn it on, first thing you see, yes, the a thousand stuffed animals. I, it, it's not even weird to me anymore. This is normal to me. We just have a stuffed animal thing and we just can't get rid of them because every single one has a story. And it's a ton, but you know what? We're not getting rid of any of them anytime soon. So you just have to look at that. But then hanging on our door, we have just like backpacks and bags and purses and belts. It's a lot, but I mean, when you when two people are living in a room and you share a closet literally this big, it's not, it's not the most ideal, but yeah, that just holds stuff like that. And um, I recently like, not didn't redo the closet, but reorganized it. So it's really neat. Um, so first starting over here, we have our shoes. Uh, we like share a bunch of our shoes. So it just goes like sandals, vans, like Roshis, more vans, athletic shoes. We don't share athletic shoes. Um, and then like Air Force Ones and then other shoes. How many times can I say shoes? Um, down here we have our heels and those are stored in like those bins over there. Um, going on to this side of the closet, this is all dresses. If you can see all white hangers, the white hangers are all dresses. Um, it's kind of organized from like more casual dresses to like fancier outfits and two-piece outfits and stuff. And then right here we have our business clothes um, for all of our business needs. And then coming over here, if you can kind of tell, it's organized by rainbow order. Uh, it goes black and then like white to like a brown and then it just goes through like red, orange, yellow, green, blue and then purples and then pinks and then like multicolor over here. These are some extra hangers and then we just hung up a bunch of our Nordic beaches and Sherpas and other jackets and stuff. Um, going down here, these two bins are mine. This is filled with like just excess clothing and then that's a dance bin down there. Over here, this is... A bunch of like sweatshirts that me and Melanie share this is like two layers deep so there's like 20 here and then there's like 20 in the back I don't know how we own that many sweatshirts um, these two bins over here are Melanie's side that's just filled with Melanie's clothes and stuff then we just have my laundry bin and then we come to the last part which is these hooks this holds more Melanie comfy attire like outdoor jackets some sweat jackets and then like robes and Sherpa things so that is pretty much our closet. Um, it's small, but you know what? I freaking make it work at this point. So yeah, now that is an entire room tour. It's a lot to unpack, but this is my sanctuary and my home. Of course it's my home, but the quarantine just does something to you when you have nothing to do but clean. So that's about it. Um, thank you for coming to my room tour. Hope you enjoyed it and I know this content is quite something and you should all subscribe because I will be a famous YouTuber by the end of this week after this video does go viral so yeah um hope you all are having a lovely day whether you are in quarantine or not but um you all are lovely you are lovely and hope you have a great night I already said that I'm rambling Good night.